And now we cross over to the corridors of justice where the three-judge bench uh, kicked off the hearing of the petition challenging the implementation of the Finance Act 2023. And this comes as lobby groups want the code to stop the government from backdating the new tax measures to July 1st. Now our reporter Ruth Omboy has more details. Ruth, kindly bring us to up to date. Uh, thank you so much, Jacqueline Wambiru. We are coming to you live from Milimani in the High Court of Kenya, whereby the three judge bench led by Justice David Majanja, Christine Meoli, and um, Christine Meoli and Roles Mugambi have begun listening to the Finance Act 2023 that have been a bone of contention between the petitioners, uh, citing that uh, the, the, the ascension of the Finance Act Finance Bill 2023 have affected most Kenyans who are strugg struggling economically to make ends meet. And today, during the beginning of the mentioning of the Finance Act, there has come out one thing from the three-judge bench that uh, the matter will begin to be heard from the 13th of September and 14th of September. And today was just the consolidation of all the petitions so that they can all be heard at once when the cases will start to be heard on 13th and 14th of September. So today it was just the consolidation of all the petitions that had been filed by all the petitioners from across the country. So when the three judge bench starts listening to the case, the petitioners, all the petitioners will be given equal time to submit their, their applications when the case will begin uh, to be heard on September 13th. The the, the judges have said that uh, also they have not been persuaded by the petitioners who wanted the three judge bench to, 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 to squash the court of appeal uh, lifting of the suspension of the Finance Act 2023. The three judge bench have said that they have not been persuaded fully to, to, to have a reason so, to suspend uh, the implementation of the Finance Act 2023. So as we speak, Kenyans have to brace themselves to be uh, beginning as the court said the 1.5 housing levy by uh, from all the employees and 1.5 from the from the employees will start to be deducted because the the, the, the bench have said that uh, it will not uh, uh, suspend uh, the, the court of appeals decision that uh, lifted uh, the suspension and also uh, one thing uh, also that came out clear from the bench is that uh, we know the serial petitioner Okio Mtata wanted to have uh, the, to, to cross-examine the Speaker of the National Assembly and the Speaker of the Senate but that also have been declined by the three judge bench and the bench have said that um, it will not uh, Okio Mtata will not be able to cross-examine to cross-examine the speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate when the case will start to be heard. So those are some of the issues that have come out from this uh, High Court during the mentioning of this uh, petition today. So uh, we'll keep tabs with what uh, might come out from this court as the day goes and file a detailed bulletin in our subsequent bulletin. Back to your studio. <laughs> 